Authorities revealing new details about the gunman and the last second attempt to try and stop him. Sources telling ABC News a local police officer confronted the shooter seconds before he opened fire. Federal investigators digging deeper into the man authorities say opened fire Saturday evening at a campaign rally for former President Donald Trump in Butler, Pennsylvania. Take a look at what happened. Donald Trump seen grabbing his ear, ducking behind the podium as Secret Service agents formed a human shield around the former president, then escorting him to a vehicle as he pumped his fist in the air. Trump revealing he was shot with a bullet that pierced the upper part of my right ear. We had what we're calling an assassination attempt against our former president, Donald Trump. Investigators have been able to gather more information on the 20-year-old suspect identified as Thomas Matthew Crooks from Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. Tonight, law enforcement sources telling ABC News the day of the attack, a local police officer confronted the shooter moments before he fired shots. The source saying the gunman then aimed at the officer who retreated and fell down. Then the gunman turned back towards the rally and started shooting. They say the weapon used in the shooting, an AR-style rifle purchased by the suspect's father. Earlier today, sources saying they found what appeared to be explosives in the suspect's car. Two people were critically injured in the shooting, and a 50-year-old father of two was killed. Tonight, Corey Comperteur being called a hero. Corey was a girl dad. Corey was a firefighter. Corey dove on his family to protect them last night. President Biden speaking from the Oval Office tonight with a heartfelt call for unity, saying there's no place for this kind of violence in America. Remember, or we may disagree, we are not enemies. We're neighbors, we're friends, co-workers, citizens, and most importantly, we're our fellow Americans. We must stand together. Now investigators turning their search efforts to the suspect's phone and social media presence in hopes to uncover a possible motive. And Karen and Rob, also another unanswered question tonight. How did that suspect gain access to that rooftop during that day of the attack? Yeah. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.